of you who are not familiar with the Banshee, she was a fairy and she was the harbinger of death. Mm. So she would inform you of a death coming up in the family. <coughs> so she wasn't a popular fairy. Very few people ever actually saw her, but the descriptions we have say that she had long grey hair down to her feet, a long cobweb-like dress, grey wrinkled skin, and eyes that were red and bloodshot from thousands of years of grieving. Mm. But of course, it's the sound that she made that she was famous for. She would make a keening sound, like a crying, wailing sound. If you heard the banshee making that sound outside your house at night, mm -hmm. it meant somebody in the household was going to die in the near future. So my grandmother told me this when I was six. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of those vivid childhood memories that I have, not just her telling me, but I remember a few weeks later, I came back to her and at that point, every noise outside was the banshee as far as I was concerned. And I said to her, oh, Granny, I think I can hear the banshee and I'm having nightmares about the banshee. And she said to me, oh no, Helena, you're fine. If you hear the banshee, it means somebody else in the house. <laughs> Irish parenting. <laughs> <laughs>